Do you want to know how to set up formula fields in DocuSign? Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Sofian here. I'm a digital signature and workflow automation consultant. And today I'm going to show you how to set up very simple or more advanced formula fields in DocuSign. By the end of this video, you will know how to calculate dates as well as numbers. So let's just get started. We are just going to assume that we are a current or company sending this form to our customers. And so these customers need to make a choice um, between the car uh, model that they want. They also need to tell us what color they want, how long they want to book the car for. And at the end, the DocuSign envelope should tell them how much they are going to pay. So the first thing that I want to do here is to add a drop down so that my users can choose between the X3 or the X5. And the reason I don't use a radio button for this is because they don't allow you to assign a value to each option that can be used in a formula. However, drop downs do. So that's what I'm going to use now. So I'm going to click on edit values and add my first option. And so the first option is BMW X3 at $130 per day. And in the values here, I'm going to get rid of everything else except the actual amount. And I'll do the same thing for the X5. So the X5 is $150 per day and get rid of everything else. That drop down here should have been called a daily rate because this is essentially where I'm getting uh, my $150 or $130 per day from. So daily rate. All right, now let's do the color. And just so that you understand why I didn't use a radio button on the previous example, I'm going to use it here and you'll see it's actually a bit harder. I want to give a label to my radio buttons. And so the first label will be black and the second will be white. I'm going to add the fields for the pickup and drop off dates. So I'm just going to use a text box for those. And uh, I'm going to go to validation here on the bottom right and select date. I'm just going to copy and paste that field and move it to the drop off date because I want the same properties to be um, applied to that text box as well. However, I'm going to go back to my pickup date field and give it a, a name, a label, pickup date. And you can add spaces if you want and just, I just don't do it. And I'm going to do the same thing for the drop off um, date field and call it the drop off date. Now I want to calculate the amount of days between the pickup and the drop off date. So I'm going to add my first formula field and place it here and I'm going to call it total number of days. And now I'm going to set up the formula. So let's click on setup. As soon as you start typing DocuSign will actually suggest the type of um, uh, mathematical operations you can set up. So let's click on date difference. And here I'm just going to select the drop off date and separate this with a comma and the pickup date. And I don't need decimals. So I'm just going to set this one to zero. Don't forget to close the bracket and save. So now I need to calculate the total cost. I'm going to go ahead and add another formula and um, I'm going to give it a name, a label as well. So total cost and click on setup and I need my daily rate multiplied by the total number of days. Save. So if I just leave this as it is currently, it's just going to give me the rate for a white car. There's no extra charge for a white car. But what if the customer chooses a black car? Well, for this, I need to set up another formula. So let's add another formula field and call this one total cost black and set up the formula. Here I need my daily rate, which I, that I want to multiply by the total number of days. I'm going to place those in brackets and I want to add on top of this the daily $10 multiplied by the total number of days and set this to zero. I don't want decimals and save. But now hang on a second. I just realized there's a 10% discount on all bookings that are seven days or longer. So I need to include this in my formulas. And so to do that, I can just add an if statement. So I'm going to go back and edit my formula. So click on edit at the top. And I'm going to start this by a if 
remove this for now if the total number of days is equal or greater to seven then I want to multiply the daily rate by the total amount of days and I also want to multiply by 0 0.9 so that I get my 10% discount and if not I just want to multiply my daily rate by the total amount of days. Don't forget to close the bracket and save. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the black version of the bookings. So I'm going to go edit, remove all of this. And so if the total amount number of days is greater or equal to seven, then I want to take the daily rate and I multiply it by the total number of days. Then I also want to add my 10% um, my $10 daily rate. So I'm going to place these two into, into a bracket and create another addition. So here I'm going to add the total number of days and multiply this by 10 to get my 10 daily dollars surcharge. And all of this needs to be discounted by a 10% if it's above seven days, multiply by 0 0.9. And if not, I'm going to grab the daily rate and multiply it by the total number of days. And actually, I forgot to place those ones into brackets. I'm going to add my $10 daily. So total number of days multiplied by 10. Close the bracket and save. And now before I save and close, I want to make sure that customers are only shown one price. Currently, they'll be shown the, the cost for a black car and for a white car. So I'm going to set up a conditional logic on those fields. So let's click on black and conditional field, create rule, and then black and select this one. I'm going to do the same thing with the white, create rule, select white, and then select the second formula field. Done. Now I'm just place the second field on top of the first one because I want the price to look nice. Now, unfortunately, we can't test if the formula is working in the preview. So I'm going to save and close and send the envelope to myself. Okay, so here I'm going to choose the X3 and I'm going to rent it from the 1st of July until the, let's just go with a small number, 3rd of July. So that's two days. And I'm gonna choose a white car. So that should be $260. Yeah. Now let's just say that I want the white one. That should add another $20. Perfect. Now, if I want to go with a booking that is longer than seven days, so let's just say that I rent it for eight days, actually. And as you can see, the discount has been applied uh, because we don't have a pair number anymore. So our formula has worked. And now if I change this to an X5, it should say X5 just made a mistake in um, the label. But there you go. There is so much more that you can do with DocuSign formula fields, but I hope that gave you a preview of all the possibilities. In the next video, I'll show you something super powerful, how to generate and send agreements automatically. Kind of a mail merge, but like 10 times better. So I hope to see you soon. I upload DocuSign related and workflow automation content on a weekly basis. So if you want to be notified when I upload the next ones, make sure that you don't leave the channel before you hit the subscribe button. And if you need more help with your DocuSign setup, you can explore my consulting options using the link in the description. I'll see you in the next lesson, but until then, happy signing.